a learning English in China. And when I was nineteen, uh, around twenty years ago, uh, I I found there's there were not so many people uh, pay uh, paying so much attention to learning English, but as I went to college, I found the English learning is a very big industry. Yeah, right, right. Hmm? So... It's a, totally, uh, it's a failure. It's a failure. I saw the people from Nigeria, from the African country, from uh, all of the world. They all have the ability to speak in English almost fluently, but in my country, even even they pay attention, even they dedicated their time and energy and money for about 20 years. They cannot speak in a, in a decent manner. They cannot uh, communicate in English. It's a shame to waste so many resources. You know, what, why, why did this happen? Yeah. Because uh, we we don't have a uh, you know in in the African countries in India in India in India the Indian guy told me they have the they have the uh, if they are in their primary school they can choose uh, what what uh, textbook what uh, the official the uh, teaching language uh, they want uh, to use. Uh, they can choose to to choose the English textbook and the teaching language, or choose the uh, local language or the standard Hindi Hindi language. They have three choices, and when they go to secondary school, they also have three choices. And most of the people they will choose the English global textbook and the global teaching language. When they go to university, they only have one language that is English. So all of their textbooks, all of their teaching languages are in English. That's why in India, even they have the very strong accent, but they can use it. They can use this language, but in China, you don't have. We, we, we learn English as a subject, as a, a course, a class. You have an English class. That's not enough. It's not a learning language. It's not a working language. You never use English as a working, as a uh, um, environment. So we cannot uh, uh, use it in a practical way. That's why it's a failure in China to learn English now. And uh, President Xi, they said we can lower the lower the uh, priority of the English language, I think might be that might be a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do, do, do you think uh, it is a, 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 a deliberate way to make Chinese people learn English in this way? To is teach in this Sorry. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, do you think it is our uh, government's idea to forbid people to learn English too well to use them? You you, you know. It's not, it's not a fair afraid. It's a it's a they thought it's a just like I said. It's a waste of time and resources. You cannot use uh, huge resources to learn a, a kind of a language, but you got you got nothing. You got nothing. You cannot use it. It's not practical. So you just wasted a lot of money, energy, resources. So they are right to to reduce the the output input of the resources to the language English language not learning. So that's right. Uh, it's okay, and it's not uh, as you said. It's not they are afraid. They uh, afraid the the Western, um, the Western influences. I don't think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. 
so I guess maybe it's a, a, an idea uh, from our uh, prior uh, people, you know, the who, who, who govern the people to not to enter the global world. Uh, it's, I don't think so. They just uh, because of the opinion uh, from the expert, uh, the educational, the pedagogy uh, expert, uh, they thought it's a waste of time. So I think that's uh, not a bad thing. They reduce the resources. That's good. And uh, yeah, it's a isolated uh, country, and we in this uh, huge 1.4 uh, billion population we have the singularity we have the um, um we have this uh, uh, uh this singular this one uh our own language uh it's a uh, it's not into the uh global community and uh, other people in the Western country and in the in the other parts of the world, they it's 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 very it's not attractive for them to learn the Chinese language, even though we have the huge population. It's not uh, uh, attractive uh, for them to to learn the Chinese language. So yeah, uh, we are isolated. Yeah, it's a very big uh, island, and uh, uh, but uh, for the English-speaking countries, they have uh, uh, originally they only have uh, maybe eight million people they speak mm -hmm. in English language, uh, but uh, through the through the um, colonization through the gun power through the economic power they influenced uh, the whole world so nowadays more than more than 40 countries they they use english as a main a tool or main language to to um, to use in the their society son of some of the country they lose, they lose, they they have lost, they they lose their own identity, they lose, they they lose their own culture, language. Uh, so it's a double-edged sword. So you can say that's true. The diversity they came into. Uh, exchange with each other, it's good, but also they eliminate, um, eliminated the uh, small, the mi minority, the small cultures. So it's a we have to try our best to pursue the uh, small languages and small cultures. Uh, English culture is powerful from a uh, eight million population to uh, I think almost one point one point five billion people. They they can use English as uh, it's bigger. It's even bigger than Chinese community. Chinese mm -hmm. Chinese community. Yeah, we have the. We have the, our Mandarin community, Chinese community use our own language and our own our own text. That's true. Mm -hmm. But uh, to say to say the English language colonization, they have many many countries. So it's a phenomenon. Uh, it's yeah, it's uh, astonish. But uh, I think we have to. We have to think about that. We have to try our best to respect other cultures, other languages. Even our, you have your own language, right? 
you have your Putin yes. language. I have my own yes. language. Yeah, yes. I cannot yes. understand your language. You cannot understand my language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If you use your Putin language, you can say something. Can you say something? Uh, uh, you mail. How to use that? Uh, have you eaten uh, in, in Putin language? What's that? Chibale. 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 Uh, if I use my Changsha dialect, my, my Changsha language, uh, okay. I cannot I cannot speak it uh, very flu fluently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if you use Mandarin, that is Nichifana Mayo. Mm -hmm. So we have three languages. Actually, it's very hard for us to communicate. If you use your Putin language, I use my, my Changsha language. And uh, so that's why we have to use Mandarin as a media to uh, mediate. Uh, even we are all Chinese. So we have to English use English to, to, to communicate. Even you are from the other side of the world, if you're from Africa, from from America, from any other part of the world, we have use a uh, use language. If you you can use French, um, if you can use Spanish, it's not enough. We cannot communicate. You have to use some universal language. That's true. So, yeah, that's it. But as I can see, you know. Um, more students, more students in middle school or a junior middle middle school or senior high school are learning uh, Spanish or French and English too. They have three languages. They have one or two choices to learn the That's other good. language. Yeah, it's Is very that... expensive. Yeah, it's private school. It's a uh, very expensive. Yeah. Okay. The, yeah. That is another topic. The language, the invasion of language, they promoted the uh, uh, inequality. So that's another topic. We can talk about it next time. Okay, mm -hmm. I will stop here.